Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see configuration of on-premises VMware HCX connector. So in the previous video we have installed the VMware HCX add-on from the Azure portal and we are ready to configure the on-premise VMware HCX connector for the Azure VMware solution private cloud. So there are some prerequisites. Right? So one is that you should have the VMware HCX connector is installed that you do from the add-ons on the Azure portal and following the over develop del deployment file on your on-prem, right? And then if you plan to use VMware HCX Enterprise, make sure you have enabled the VMware HCX Enterprise add-on through a support request. And if you plan to use uh, if you plan to enable VMware HCX Mobility Optimized Networking, which is called VMware HCX MON, then you have to make sure you have NXT, NXX-T or VDS on-premises for HCX network extension and one or more active stretched network segment. You should also have VMware software version, your on-premise VCR environment, meets the minimum requirements that are mentioned on the documentation. You should also have Azure Express Route Global Reach, which should be configured between the on-premise and Azure VMware solution private cloud Express Route circuits. And there are some required ports that needs to be open for communication between your on-premise components and Azure VMware solution. And those are particularly And you need to also define VMware HCX network segments. The primary use cases for VMware HCX are workload migrations and disaster recovery. Now, when you're done with the prerequisites, you have to add a site pairing. In your data center, you can connect or pair the VMware HCX Cloud Manager in Azure VMware solution with the VMware HCX connector. Although the VMware configuration maximum tool describes site pairs maximum to be 25 between the on-premises and the HCX Cloud Manager, licensing limits this to three. For HCX Advanced and 10 for HCX Enterprise Edition. So you need to sign into your on-premise vCenter and uh, select the HCX which is located under Home. And then you would have to do site pairing and select the connect to remote site. Your remote site, if you remember, would be the IP address uh, or the managed URL that you get with the HTTPS and the credentials for a user which holds the cloud admin role in the private cloud. Then you will be connected and to establish uh, the connection successfully, your VMware HCX connector must be able to route to your HCX cloud manager. On port 443, a service account from your external identity source such as Active Directory is recommended for site pairing connections. And then you will see a screen showing that your VMware HCX Cloud Manager in Azure VMware solution and your on-premise connector has been connected. And after that, you can create network profiles. Your VMware HCX connector deploys a subset of virtual appliances that require multiple IP segments. When you create your network profiles, we use the IP segments you defined during the planning phase. So if you remember when we talked about planning phase, then we define the virtual network gateway. We define the IP address segments. For VM workloads. And then there was management network because when deploying VMware HCX compromise, we'll need to identify a management network for VMware HCX. Then we have uplink network. Then we need to deploy, we need to identify an uplink network for VMware HCX. Then the vMotion network. 
and then there was a replication network so you will create four network profiles management vmotion replication and uh, uplink and then you can select and create a compute profile which would also be under uh, you selected uh, under infrastructure you had the option to go for network profiles and under, and under infrastructure you have the option to create compute profiles and while deploying this compute profile make sure that under the uh, data store select the data store storage resources for deploying the vmware hcx interconnect appliances and then you will also need need a service mesh and then you will have to select the source and remote compute profiles and configure the advanced configuration and click on continue you can have up to eight vlans for appliance but you can deploy another appliance to add another eight vlans you must also have ip space to account for the more appliances and it's one ip per appliance so when this is done the hcx interconnect tunnel status should indicate up and in green you are ready to migrate and protect azure vm solution vms using vmware hcx azure vmware solution supports workload migrations with or without the network extension so you can still migrate workloads in your vsphere environment along with on-premises creation of networks and deployments of VMs onto these networks. This is it. If you want to read more about it, please see VMware HCX documentation, which is an application mobility platform designed for simplifying application migration, rebalancing work work workloads, and optimizing disaster recovery across data center and clouds. I hope this was informative for all of you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Have a good day.